Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AED744. So today, guys, we do my conference league predictions, guys, for the 23-24 season, round of 32, knock around playoffs. And yeah, we're going to go over, give you guys preview and predictions for all eight of the games. So please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first game, which we got here. It is Stromgras versus Slovian Bratislava. Stromgras, for me, I wasn't too impressed what they did in the group stage. Um, and the, uh, the the Europa League, obviously, I think they finished third in the group behind above Lech Poznan and obviously finished below Sporting and Atalanta. Some notable players to look out for is that there's pretty much, it's pretty much Aust Austrian-based contingency. And I think Slovenia and Bratislava have a good team. Some players I was really impressed with are Wies and Boron in the group stage. And I just feel like when you look at both teams, I think Slovenia and Bratislava is a better team. I think Slovenia and Bratislava will beat Stromgras. It's going to be a close one. I don't expect a lot of goals, but I just feel like Slovenia and Bratislava have more experience in Stromgras. I feel like they're decent defensively, but they don't offer enough going forward. So I think Slovenia and Bratislava just have more firepower in that attack. So I'm going to go Slovenia and Bratislava to advance to the next round. Next up is Union SG versus Frankfurt. Union SG, man, what a team this is, man. I, I really like this team because they have some good players like Nielsen, Amani, Puertas, and they did lose some big players over the summer. They lost, obviously, uh, Tuama, and obviously they lost Boniface. And for Frankfurt, uh, this team has been regressing. I've not been impressed with Frankfurt. Some players look out for it, though, are obviously Marmouche. He's been a good player, obviously, Gotza and Trap. But yeah, I think, I, I think I'm going to go Union SG, honestly. I've not been convinced with Frankfurt. They finished second in the group behind Polk, which they shouldn't be doing. And I think UNSG is going to do it. I don't think UNSG will fans the next round. Next up is Olympiacos versus, uh, versus Farron's Bar. This is a very interesting one, guys. Olympiacos, obviously, their main talisman is Yusuf Al Arabi. Now, at the time of recording this video, Yusuf Al Arabi is not fit. He's currently injured, which I think is a big, big blow for Olympiacos. I just think that he's so important to that team when he brings so much goal scoring to the team. Farron's Varos, for me, are really impressed. I was really, really impressed with Farron's Varos. Besides that 3 0 loss to KI at the Classic at home, they've been great this season. And so I just think Farron's Varos has been amazing. Uh, players I've got for obviously Varga, Debouge, the goalkeeper, and I just think that this team is solid. I, I think I'm going to go at Ferenc Varos. I just feel like Olympiacos is a bit too reliant on Yusuf El Rabi, and hence the reason why I'm going to go at Ferenc Varos to advance. Next up, it is Mold versus Legia Warsaw. Uh, Mold for me, I thought had a decent performance in the Europa League. I kind of expected more. They should have finished second, in my opinion, behind um, what is it called Leverkusen. And what I realized with this Mold team is that they're a good team. They obviously won the Norwegian League, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, but they just haven't really been consistent enough, you know, especially they're I notice they're more of a home team than an away team. They're not really great on the road. So and I feel like Legia Warsaw, on the other hand, I was really, really impressed. I thought Legia Warsaw really impressed me in the group stage of the Conference League, getting over the likes of AZ Alkmaar and, you know, putting good sh showings. I think Legia Warsaw is going to do this. I think Legia Warsaw is going to beat Mold. This might come, some, come as a surprise, but I, I've been more impressed with Legia than Mold. Next up is Servette versus Ludogorets. Servette, for me, man, I thought they had a great show in the Europa League. They got some good performance. Ogana, Tuate, some notable players. And for Ludogorets, man, I thought they were very underwhelming in the group stage. They just about made it through to the next round, um, but they had to do by skin their teeth, and they got destroyed by Nortelan. So basically, that went over, um, I think what it was, uh, Farron Bacce basically sent them through to the next stage. So Ludogorets, man, very, very underwhelming. They do have one player, Tekpe. He's their most notable player. And yeah, I think for this one, guys, this might come as an upset, but I have Servette. I've been more convinced of Servette. Ludogorets, I'm just not as convinced as much because at times it can play very good and at times it can play very bad. So they're way too inconsistent for my liking. Next up is Real Betis versus Dinamo Zagreb. This is a very interesting matchup because I honestly genuinely believe Dinamo Zagreb could get a result here because Real Betis, as good as they are attacking-wise, like players like Isco, uh, Fakir, and Perez, they're defensively very, very suspect. And for Dinamo Zagreb, they're very good in the counterattack. Obviously, Pekovic is a very, very big player. Obviously, you got... Um, him as well, Marami. Mar and I just feel like for Dinamo Zagreb, I feel like the key for them is to, because Dinamo Zagreb is really good at home. So Real Betis can't go into the second league needing a win. Real Betis have to win the first league. Because if Real Betis don't win the first league, I think they're out. Because Dinamo Zagreb is very good at home. It's difficult to be Dinamo Zagreb at home. So for that reason, I'm going to go with Real Betis to win because I expect Real Betis to win at home. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Dinamo Zagreb win this one. I think there's a potential chance of upset. Uh, that we have next is Ajax versus Bodo Glenn. Ajax, man, after a disastrous start to the season, uh, they're now fifth place in the area division. They've been looking great. Obviously, Henderson has been great. Burkhouse has been great. And I think the team is starting to gel. Bodo Glenn, on the other hand, they've also been great as well. Pellegrini has also been fantastic. Burge, Espered. But I just think this Bodo Glenn team, they're just not the same as they used to be. I just think that Ajax is just getting stronger and stronger. And I feel like Ajax will probably one of the contenders to win the conference league, honestly. I think Ajax... Because if you had asked me early in the season, I would have for sure picked Bodo Glenn. But I think Ajax will come into this one in good form. And I think Ajax will get the job done. I think Ajax will advance. 
Next up, the final match we got here is Mikeba Haifa versus Ghent. Mikeba Haifa, man, what a team this is, man. I really like this team. Pirot is a very good player. And I think for Mikeba Haifa, the, the, the thing is that they have to get the result at home. Because if they have to go in the second leg, need to win away in Belgium, it's going to be very difficult because this Ghent team have so many difference makers. They have so many big players, strikers in particular. They could score a lot of goals. You know, Coopers, Soyok. And so, yeah, I, I'm going to go with Ghent for this one. I think for me, I just think like Ghent is more experienced. And I think my Kaba is going to struggle with inexperience. I think they'll make a lot of defensive mistakes. So that is my uh, Europa Conference League predictions. I hope you guys did enjoy this quick video. Please run a like and subscribe. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.